Okay guys, it's been getting pretty chilly out here and that always makes me think of having a nice warm bowl of soup. So today I want to share a recipe with you guys that's pretty easy to make. It's gonna be so comforting, so wholesome. And then on top of this whole bowl of goodness, I'm gonna to top it off with some Lion's Mane Powder by Vitacap. Vitacap reached out and had me try their products. And what I liked about it is that they are pure, greenhouse grown and third party tested. so much warmer now. You know, I've had these types of mushrooms fresh and I'm happy to say that I can actually recognize them in their powder form. All right, guys, I'm warming up a bit more now. I'm ready to go pick up some of those ingredients so we can make that soup. Here's the lemongrass. Grab one. Just, there you go. Thank you. Just break it off. Here's some ginger dying back in the winter. Young ginger shoots. Now to the Galanga. Galanga is one that tolerates the cold obviously a lot better than the other ginger. Turmeric is died back. Rain's gotten to them. Check this out, you guys. This is so adorable, but we're not harvesting this today. <laughs> this is going to be a very creamy, heavily spiced up kind of a soup. Spices already washed, going to cut them up along with some fresh mushrooms to blend. And then this one is from my friend's garden. It's like a crossbreed between a butternut squash and some sort of Chinese pumpkin. Then some onions and shallots. Shallots is actually optional. I really love the taste of shallots. You can just use onions. Then some coconut water to blend. You can use fresh coconuts, which I recommend, but this is all I have to work with right now. Or you can use some milk or uh, some sort of cream if you want it to be extra creamy. Finally, this is optional, but I love adding the lion's mane powder. It helps to intensify the flavor and to add more nutrition to my puree. Lion's mane has been one of my favorites to add to my foods recently just because of everything, you know, when they're in a powder form, it makes it so much easier for me to apply to my dishes, especially with savory dishes, this works really well because lion's mane has that sort of like an ocean lobster, just very savory kind of a, a flavor. And you know, mushrooms are just so tasty. It adds complexity to your food and it just offers these medicinal benefits, right? Anti-cancer, anti-inflammatory. And uh, this is just one that makes it so much easier for me to apply whenever I want in my dishes. I love having them fresh as well, but they're just not always available. Lion's Mane can help to reduce your anxiety level, really helps with your cognitive health, you know, your memory focus, which is really important for me especially. I love focusing on growing plants that are for our brain health. The other one that I'm having is reishi powder. So I just add a little bit of like a scoop of this in a cup of hot water in the morning and drink it because I love having herbal teas in the morning. Reishi not only has anti-cancer properties, but it helps to um, give you restful sleep, just, you know, bring down your anxiety level, which is why this is one of the ingredients in their apple cider vinegar gummies and their capsules that help for sleep. Aside from these, Vita Caps also make chaka, turkey tail, cordyceps, uh, capsules, and powders. Oh, I'm so much warmer now. If you guys want to pick some up, go to vitacap.com forward slash Wendy, and that's W E N D I for your 20% off.
All right, guys, this is done steaming. Let's cut this open. So you can either roast it or bake it. Oh, this is a beautiful color. Oh my goodness. Mm. I'll actually bring out the nuttiness if you uh, roast it instead of steaming, but steaming is a really fast way for me to do it. And I just think it's more hydrating this way. Peel this outer layer. turmeric. I'm just going to show you guys the beauty of this. Look at this. this the turmeric. This is the ginger. Throw that in. I'm just going to dump all of this in. All this goodness. some of that mushrooms just so it can gonna go on top and add a little more texture to it. They already have it. This beautiful warm dish. <laughs> it's so light but smooth at the same time. Oh, this makes me feel so cozy. I love that pack of them, um, that punch of all the spices. If you guys like it more subtle, just cut back on the spices. And the powder, the lion's mane powder really adds a little more flavor, like um, intensifies the mushroom flavor. Mm. Hope you guys like this recipe. If you guys want some medicinal mushrooms, be sure to check out vitacaps.com forward slash Wendy for your 20% off. Thank you again to Vitacaps for sponsoring today's episode. Please like, share, and subscribe to this channel if you enjoyed this one and hit the bell notification for updates. If you guys want to find me on social media and my website, I'll leave the links of that as well as the discount code down below this video. Thank you and stay warm. See you right back here in the next video. Bye.